Okay, so since I'm just filming the eight week update, I'm gonna film the 12 week update too. So this is my 12 week update. So uh, bigger than I wanted to be at this point, which is really disappointing for me. Um, I'm having, I'm still feeling sick and awful. And uh, I'm just really disappointed that I'm still feeling tired and like I have the chills and I'm just feeling sick and I have uh, nausea, like that burning nausea and I have heartburn. I just, I'm so disappointed that I'm feeling that way still because with Emmeline, like I said, I'm not, I didn't feel that way at this point. Um, I think also I've been having extreme problems with my back. If you watch the vlogs, you will see that I talked about having problems with my back. That's because I have pelvic girdle pain already. Um, actually the first, I knew I, that I was pregnant before I even took a test because I could literally feel the ligaments in my back just loosen and separate. That sounds weird, but I could feel it and I knew. And that was really early. That was like right after I ovulated or something that I, I felt that difference. So I think there must have just been a really early implantation. I'm not really sure. I have an old injury in my back and I had a, f a little bit of problems with it when I was pregnant with Emmeline in the third trimester, but all it's already so bad. I haven't been able to walk at night. I've been, I ha can't walk. I've been limping. I would lay in bed to put Emmeline to bed and nurse her to sleep. And then I couldn't get out of the bed. I actually couldn't get up. It was so painful and it hurt so much. And so finally, I think last, was it this week? This week or last week, I went to the osteopath. It's a lot better now. I'm gonna go back on Tuesday and I'm really hoping that she'll be able to help. But I want to work out. That's the other reason I haven't been working out. It's not just because I don't feel good. It's because I can't because of my, my back problem. It's just beginning worse and worse and worse. And the doctors are like, well, you shouldn't be working out because you, your hip is basically out of place. That's how loose my ligaments are, that my hip is not being held in place. Normally I have really strong muscles surrounding that that hip joint and that lower back so everything was being held nice and tightly by the muscles but I was like I haven't been working out that much with traveling and moving and just having a toddler I just haven't and where we live there wasn't a good gym so it was hard for me to get back into it so things were not as strong in the muscle muscle in the muscles in the muscles <laughs> in the muscle area so that could be one of the reasons so I'm desperate to get into a gym or just to work out at home I'm desperate so I'm really hoping we can do something to sort out my back um, I'm hoping that something I think is weird is that just now I had my 12 week ultrasound today so that's very exciting news alvin and i went they don't do them in norway they don't give you an ultrasound until 17 to 19 weeks and that's free so we paid for this when it was private because we just we wanted to give this as a christmas gift so at this point no one knows still it's still a surprise because it's like the first week of december everything looks really good and we got some pictures which i would show you but i don't know where alvin put them Everything looks good from what she can see and everything that she checked. Everything is there. All the limbs, the major organs, everything looks good and okay. It was really exciting. It was just so weird to see that when she put that thing on to check the ultrasound, to see, like, a baby on the screen. It was like, no. I knew, I thought it was unreal when I saw Emmeline, but it was so much more unreal <laughs> with this baby. Like, we're looking at her like, no, that is not me. And Emmeline's looking at the screen like, what's this boring TV show that you have here? Like, what are we doing here? But thankfully they had toys for toddlers there, so she was playing with those while Alvin and I were like, oh my god, it's amazing. <laughs> it's so funny, every ultrasound we had with Emmeline, which we had a lot because they thought something was wrong, she was still, she didn't move at all. Emmeline, when I was pregnant with her, she would move her legs and her feet, I mean her legs and her arms, but she never moved her body. Like she sat in the same position and then she flipped head down and then she stayed in that position and she moved her hands a lot. She would keep her hands like up by her face and move them all the time. And it's very characteristic of her because she is, you know, more observant as a baby, not as not running around. But this baby was like stretching and jumping and turning and it was just so weird to see. We were amazed because we never got to see that with Emmeline. She just sat there. <laughs> so it was really cool for us. It was like, oh my god, look, it's amazing. I should have asked to take a video. I didn't because in England you're not allowed to do that. But this was a private one, so I probably could have taken a video. I don't know why I didn't. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, it was amazing to see. It was just amazing. It really was. I couldn't believe it. <laughs> it's hard for me to think about that, to like, get my head around that. Like, oh my god, we're gonna have another baby. And again, I am a pessimist, so I... 
even though I know I'm pregnant and everything's going well right now, I know that's only up until this point. Pregnancy is something that you don't really have that much control over, so anything can happen, you know? So I'm the kind of person that just thinks I don't have the baby until the baby's in my arms, kind of thing. Because you don't know what can happen, and I think that's just how I protect myself in case something did go wrong. My brain, I guess, I don't know. So anyway, that is the update. I still feel awful, nobody knows. I'm getting a little bit frustrated that I still feel bad, so I'm really hoping that goes away. Women who have um, hyperviscous, I hope that's how you say it, I just don't, I mean, that's an, an admirable, especially if they have another baby too after that. Because <laughs> I remember I told Alvin and when I was pregnant with him, I said, it's not worth it, I'm never doing it again, after the first trimester. But then it got it got better and I have Emeline and she's a beautifully wonderful baby, so, you know, it doesn't matter. So that's my 12-week update. I hope that you enjoyed and as always, there will be more and I will continue to do these updates and I do hope that you guys enjoy them um, and it's exciting for you too because I know a lot of my friends that are watching this right now, you're not going to be able to see this happening in person. <laughs> okay. All right. Well, thanks so much for watching. Have a really good day and I will see you guys tomorrow on my vlog. So if you want to watch and find out what's going on, not in the updates, you can check the vlogs out. <laughs>